So this is a graph that shows us the employment level in the United States from January 1948 to March 2023. And we're taking a look at the thousands of persons employed. And when we take a look at the long-term um, picture of the employment level in the United States, you can see that the employment level in the United States has always been increasing. Yes, it's true our population has been increasing as well, but so have jobs and so has the employment level in the United States. These shaded areas represent recessions and as you are aware, during recessions though, we do see an increase in the unemployment rate. So it's important for us to stay focused on what's going on in the long run as opposed to what's going on during these short-term disruptions in our economy. So hopefully this helps you feel a little bit better about that, about you know, the fact that we have seen an increase in employment levels over time. And we do expect to continue to see an increase in these employment levels over time as well. When you think about all the changes that we have experienced in our economy from the 1950s to the 1960s, this is about when uh, computers were being started to be used in, by businesses and in communications to the 1970s and the 1980s. So here's where people started relying on personal computers. 1990s, 2000s, where we started relying on the complex mobile phones that we have. And yet, you continue to see the number of people employed in our country increasing. So we should not think about computers and robots as substitutes for human skills. Rather, we should think about them as complements to human skills.